In this video, we will know about the meshing of 2D elements. So in the previous video, we had learned how to generate a mid surface. So after generating the mid surface, we have to create the meshing of that surface. To understand how to create meshing of 2D elements, let us open up a file. So I go to open. Suppose I open the file that is clip clip.d feature and select open. So basically we will know how to do the 2D meshing and after that how to simplify the geometry. So I select this shaded view. I zoom in onto the part and we can see that this is a surface. So now we have to do the meshing and we can go to the component. It has two component. So the thickness part is hidden and only middle surface is highlighting. To create the meshing of this element, we will go to the 2D option, select 2D and select auto mesh. Click on this auto mesh. In the auto mesh, the reference size select surface, the element size. So element size is the size of the element. Like we have quad element, tria element. So this is the size of the element. So suppose the size of element I take 2 mm or 2 units. It can be any units. So that is 2. Mesh type I take mixed and all the properties let, let them as default. In the type select interactive and then we have to select surfaces. So to select the surfaces all in one, once again hold down the shift key, take the left click and then select the complete part and click on this mesh. So now when I zoom in, we can see we have a 2D mesh and click return. This is the way we create the auto mesh of a 2D element. So now we can see it has created a final mesh on the planar surfaces and the meshing is little bit distorted where we have some curve and, and a hole. So I go to return and now there is an option of quality check. So we can go to this tools option and we have to make sure that element quality is proper. So I go to check elements. In meshing we have different type of element quality check. In the next video, we will learn what are these quality checks in detail. So the first thing we have is warp edge. In the type of meshing, I select 2D and warp edge, I click on this warp edge. It is showing that warp edge should be greater than 5. Click on this warp edge and now it is showing 35 elements are failing. And also these elements are highlighting. If I zoom in onto this, let me see where these elements are highlighting like this. These elements are highlighting this white color. So these elements have warp edge problem. Then we have aspect ratio. If I click on this, we have 166 elements are failing. Then skew, chordal deviation. Then we have length. Click on this length. And the minimum length is 0 0.00012. And the length should be less than 1.5. It should be greater than 4. When we check for maximum length, Maximum length is 5, 3.5, no element is failing. Another important parameter that is Jacobian. So let us check the Jacobian. So 42 elements are failing. Similarly, we have minimum angle and the maximum angle. So we can see we have lots of elements that are failing. So it is not a good quality of mesh. To generate a good quality of mesh, we have to simplify this geometry. So I click return, I click delete. Go to elements, click on this elements, select all and delete. I am deleting all the elements and then click return. Now to simplify the geometry, go to 2D. Okay, go to geometry and we have option of D feature. Click on this D feature and we can see we have little holes on there. These holes are of very little radius. So the effect of these holes is very negligible. So what we can do is we can remove these pin holes. Select a surface. So select is complete surface. And then in the pin holes, specify a diameter. Suppose I take this reference diameter 3. So any pin hole that has a diameter of less than 3 will be highlighted. Turn and select find. So it is highlighting these pin holes. And then click return. I'm going to delete these pinholes and we can see the pinholes are deleted. 
click return so I select D feature once again and then I select surface fillet in the surface fillet I select the surface option select this complete surface so hold down the shift key and select this complete surface minimum radius suppose I take 2 maximum is 15 and select find so it is highlighting where the software has find the surface fillet between these radius and I select remove and then I go to edge fillet in the edge fillet select this complete surface and then minimum radius I take 1 maximum I take 20 and then select find and select remove and then go to return once again now go to 2d mesh auto mesh once again select this complete surface here we have to select the surface option element size is 2 element mesh type that is mixed and all the remaining option are default click on this mesh and then click return and now we can see we have created a better mesh so now we have to select the mesh quality so I go to tools go to check elements warp edge we can see zero elements are failing in the aspect ratio there are seven elements so now we can see by simplifying the geometry less elements are failing so it means we have improved the quality of the mesh another important parameter that is Jacobian we can see only six elements are failing for minimum angle only four elements maximum angle two elements so in this way we can simplify the geometry so I click return 